We're going to be talking about the NAIA football game of the week. That is today on Midwest Sports Now. Hi, I'm Joey McWilliams, and I am pleased and privileged to get to bring in, well, a friend of mine as we've uh, become acquainted over the course of the last few months, Vince Delicio, who along with James Poovey are the broadcast team for the Ottawa University of Arizona Spirit, the OUAZ Spirit. And Vince, thank you so much for taking some time here with us today on Midwest Sports Now. Very happy to be here, Joey. It's it's truly a, a pleasure and an honor to join you today. Well, let's go ahead. Hey, we, we get to talk football and good football yeah. that is on the way. This is one of the games of the year. It really is, and that's that's without the, the hyperbole, I think, because it's definitely the game of the week, as has been voted by the fans today on Twitter through the NAI. It's the game of the week. It is Langston against OUAZ, and again, could be one of the games of the year. This is definitely the biggest matchup in the Sooner Athletic Conference to date. Well, I agree. I, you know, this this game is ultimately it, this is for the conference title right here. Really? Yes. It 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 no doubt is. OUAZ coming in six and zero overall, and Langston four and one overall. But here are the conference records: OUAZ, the Spirit, are four and zero in Sooner Athletic Conference play. Langston three and zero in Sooner Athletic Conference play, and you know. It's it's really it's one of those things too that this has been expected all year long. Yeah, I, I agree. I mean, it's something that we've been looking at, uh, and and you know, this is Langston is is the big boy on the block. They're the kings <laughs> of the castle right now, and and OUAZ is the upstart program playing their second year second year of football, and uh, and they you know they've had some really high expectations going into this season. Uh, some pretty darn good players that have come back and they've added to it in the offseason. So there's a lot of excitement around it, and there's been a lot of momentum building the last few weeks right up until this very game. So this is going to be a, a huge barometer uh, for what's to come with this program, this weekend's game. Well, now, for MidwestSports.net and for our regional footprint, of course, Langston in the state of Oklahoma, and we've talked about the Lions on many occasions and, and, and what this team has done, not just – 3-0 in conference play, but also, I mean, you, you look back, and, and this is a team that since the, the Sooner Athletic Conference has brought in football as a competitive sport, and, and the conference recognizes it and puts together its teams for that, 11-0 in conference play, but if you go back even further to the Central States Football League, this Langston team has not lost a conference game in 24 consecutive tries. As a matter of fact, the last time Langston lost a conference game was to the team just down the road from you in Arizona Christian. That was back in 2016, the first uh, sooner, or excuse me, CSFL game of the year. Langston went on to win the next five and has not lost since then. And then you talk about OUAZ now, a team in its second year. It's it's been an offensive juggernaut, hasn't it? It has, you know, and, and everything revolves around one guy right now, the preseason uh, offensive player of the year for the Sooner Athletic Conference and his quarterback, Austin McCullough. This guy's a junior. He's very selfless. He's a humble kid, uh, but he's he's very confident as well coming in, and he's surrounded with a great group of players at every position. Um, he's got an All-American center in a young man named Tristan Shehorn. Uh, he's got a stable of wide receivers led by this year uh, Richard Montello, uh, he's got uh, a running a, a running back core that you know they all have, they all complement each other. He's got four good backs that that at any given time can can take the pressure off of him in trying to establish the passing game while they're running the ball. And it's it's everybody just complements each other, and it just starts with that quarterback. We've seen big numbers from McCullough, and he has just been able to light it up more than 300 yards of total offense game in and game out he's averaging that for the season he's number four in the nai in total offense and and definitely at the top of the sooner athletic conference list when you when you think about what he does out there on the offensive side of the ball the defense really i mean they can go into it a little bit more relaxed going we don't have to really keep these teams as tight as what as what you might think because we know our offense is going to score points but the OUAC defense has done some things as well well yes and you know and that starts with there's a notes a nose tackle named Alema Collins uh Alema was a defensive end he's a junior college transfer last year came in from eastern Arizona college and was just named to the hula bowl 
um, this year, but they moved him inside. He was playing end last season. They moved him to nose tackle, and he's been wreaking all kinds of havoc. And add to that, uh, there's a defensive tackle named Marcus Ferrier, who was injured last year, came in this year. He was a University of Washington uh, bounce back. Defensive end Russian named Christian Vaville that stepped in. I mean, it's just been been an, an amazing uh, synergy with these players uh, as they build this program, and and their secondary to boot is pretty solid as well. It's it's just top to bottom. It's a it's a great roster, and these these young men are have all learned to play together. They're all very selfless, uh, and they're just kind of pieces in the puzzle. Speaking now with Vince Delicio, whose window on my screen keeps moving, uh, makes you bigger and smaller. So. Sorry about that, Vince, oh. I, but we hear you very well, so, so keep on okay. uh, telling us about OUAZ. We're talking about the, the NAI Game of the Week now. It's Langston traveling to Surprise, Arizona to take on the OUAZ spirit. It's the game of the, the week in the NAI, definitely. This is really I, probably the de facto championship game for the Sooner Athletic Conference this season. I know that you've been preparing this week to broadcast the game, as you and James will be uh, yeah. broadcasting for the OUAZ uh, football broadcast and I want to talk about where to find that here in just a moment but you had to do some opposition research and to do that then you look at the offense for the Langston Lions it's not one not two but three quarterbacks that you have to worry about if you're OUAZ and then of course Tim Whitfield in the backfield talk about then what what uh, OUAZ is going to see then from Langston you think well, I, obviously, we're, you know, we're seeing three very different players. We're going to, you know, we're going to see a lot of throwing, a lot of throwing. And the pass defense, you know, for OUAZ at times get, get, can stall, uh, but they have to stay on task. The front has to keep doing their job and keep pressuring those quarterbacks. Um, so, you know, they can't get complacent. And there have been times throughout the season, little flashes of it, where they get a little comfortable. And, and, you know, take, for example, there was a game against uh, Texas Wesleyan, I believe, a few weeks back. Um, uh, the quarterback single-handedly nearly won that game. Uh, it came down to the wire. And there are some really good athletes in the conference top to bottom. Uh, but uh, the complacency is going to be their biggest enemy. I, you know, it, you get comfortable at a certain point and you allow a team to kind of hang around. So they're, despite the fact that they're averaging 60 points a game on offense plus, um, they can't get comfortable. That's their biggest enemy here. Well, and, and you're talking about the, the quarterbacks for Langston. You look at uh, Raquan Washington, Johnny Stevenson, Jordan Cooper. Each one of them can pass the ball, but each one of them can run the ball too. And this is a ground attack for Langston that I, that I think is pretty potent as well. Tim Whitfield, more than 700 yards rushing this season, averaging – better than 100 yards per game, and he is among the top 10 in the NAI with his ground game. Each one of these three quarterbacks, though, Vince, has a rushing touchdown to his credit as well. It's, yeah, it, you know, that's going to put so much more pressure on the linebacking core for OUAZ because they, they not only are they going to have to cover, um, you know, receivers uh, and backs out of the backfield, someone's going to have to keep an eye on one of those quarterbacks. Well, it's a different look now for Langston, obviously, than what it was last for the last couple of years with Jalen Lowe back there. But it's also a youth movement for the Lions and for Coach Quentin Morgan and his team. So whoever may come out of this battle, and I, I'm not sure, Vince, that, that anyone is going to this season come out of this battle as, as the top quarterback. I think it may be for the remainder of the year. You're looking at two or three coming in at any point in time. Uh, for upcoming seasons, maybe somebody wins that spot because all three of these are young quarterbacks, and, and it's it's definitely a, a team in Langston that has been rebuilding this year and still strong. Well, it's a good problem to have. When you've got that kind of depth, I mean, obviously it's a, it's a really good situation to be in. And, and the, the competition that it builds in practice as well, uh, provided that, uh, that they just keep it on the field and, and are friends off, I mean, it, uh, it makes for, <laughs> for, for a good team as, uh, you know, also. So, but we are so excited about this game out here. Uh, we can't tell you, you know, the, uh, the coverage for it and, and, uh, and the fact that, that this is such a young program and, and there are some schools that are coming in here with such rich history like a Langston, uh, you know, coming in. And, and, you know, it's, it's going to make for, for an interesting matchup this week. Yes, and, you know, I would be remiss without talking about the Langston defense. Big Craig Evans then on the inside. This is a team that can get into the backfield. So, you know, McCullough, 
although he's made quite a name for himself, what do, what do you think about his his uh, movement back there? You know, we know he can throw the ball, but he he's going to be pressured from this Langston D. Yeah, well, fortunately, uh, you know, for this team, he adds another element, and he's a he's a uh, um, a triple threat uh, in that uh, you know he can. He can throw. He can run. He makes decisions on the fly. And I mean, he is a—he's definitely a, a solid sprint-out quarterback. He throws on the on the run very well with with pinpoint accuracy. One concern that we have is when he sprints out to his left periodically. You know, he he likes to gamble a little bit and throw back across to his right. Uh, <laughs> and uh, and so we just uh, you know we just stay comfortable back there. But at the same time, you know, keep your head on a swivel too. So, uh, but I, you know, I I have to believe that that uh, um, facing a defense like Langston, you know, it's it's going to be a real test for these guys uh, for the Spirit team. But um, Austin has uh, has done such a really good job with uh, with finding his receivers, with making the quick decisions, um, and fortunately, he can run. All right, we're speaking now with Vince Delicio from the OUAZ Spirit broadcast, who along with James Poovey will be bringing you uh, this broadcast of Langston and OUAZ. That's going to take place on Saturday. So, Vince, where do people find you? What time does your pregame coverage start? Because, hey, listen, they can watch you on YouTube every now and again in the booth there with the Spirit broadcast. So where do they find you? I, I would say, you know, right off the bat, what we like to do, James and I will uh, will will do a little pregame. We'll get on the field. We'll talk to to uh, coaches. So we're going to try to to uh, uh, to get in front of Coach Morgan here in the pregame. Uh, you can find us on Twitter to start with. So at JV Sports Show at JV Sports Show on Twitter, um, and we'll do some interviews out there. And then uh, the actual live stream will be if you go to the OUAZ Spirit Athletic website. Uh, you go into athletics and into broadcasts, and there's a there's a link for stretch internet, and and I think that Langston will also be carrying the feed on their site, so you can get to it from there as well. Uh, and so James and I, so that's uh, Central Time. It'll be 9 p.m. Uh, Central Time, 7 p.m. Uh, Pacific. Uh, that uh, that the game will start, but we'll be out there about an hour and a half pregame uh, and trying to to catch some of these guys and coaches and and uh, fans and. Uh, and I don't know. Uh, I, I'm hoping that that Langston travels well. I'm hoping that uh, that you folks out in Oklahoma come to the game. We'll look for you. Wear the jerseys, wear the colors, <laughs> and uh, wear your orange and blue, and we'll find you in the stands and interview you. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, so we send the word out to Langston fans to do that. Of course, the flagship show here on the MidwestSports.net YouTube channel. We're going to be in Wichita this week, so on Saturday, uh-huh. I'll, I'll keep okay. up with you. Our broadcast will be in the in the morning into the afternoon here in Central Time, but I'll keep up with you and be following that game. We're going to be on the campus of Friends University for the Friends versus Bethel matchup, but be sure to tune in to Vince and James for the, the OUAZ Langston football game, again, the game of the week. Vince, uh, one other thing, too, you, are, you all broadcast the JV Sports Show. Uh, plug that really yes. quickly because you guys are on on Saturday sure. mornings. Yeah, Saturday mornings, 9 to 10 Central Time, um, and you can get our link through Twitter. We broadcast on AM 1060 in Phoenix, but there's a live link through the radio station's uh, site that you can listen in. We're going to be doing some coverage this week. Uh, we're going to be uh, broadcasting remotely, and we're going to have as our guest Coach Jeff Bowen from Arizona Christian, who you know Langston defeated last week. Uh, we're going to talk a little, a little about their game against Panhandle State, which is going to be Saturday night as well. So he'll be a, a guest with us. We'll preview a little bit of Langston. Anybody that wants to call in, by all means, call in 602-260-1060, that, uh, and we'll put you on the air with us. We'd love to have you. Uh, 9 to 10 a.m. Central Time. Find us on Twitter to get that link. And, uh, yeah, thank you so much, Joey. All right. Vince Delicio here with us on Midwest Sports Now. Thanks for watching, and we appreciate that. Please be sure and like and share and subscribe to this channel. In the meantime, God bless you. Have a great day.